Typically, people look to the harbour and docks in search of the history of the fishing industry. However, something closer to the high street is hiding away. Not only is the historic high street home to the core history of the town, but it also provides a link to the lower stuffed scores, narrow pathways that run all the way down to the coast. Having grown up near the sea, uh, without wanting to sound dramatic, I've always felt a certain responsibility for helping to maintain its sustainability and its health, and I think it's important to, um, to do so, and if I can, then I, then I will. With Lowestoft's rich history, there are others who are keen to tell its story. These combined with the Grade Two listed terrace houses and the former reading room on the South Pier, Lowestoft was very much the Brighton of Suffolk. Even during the war, people made the most of the summers, despite the beaches and promenades being covered in defences. Kensington Gardens and the bowling greens even to this day, continue to be a beautiful spot on the cliff top with wonderful views of the sea. There is also now something much bigger to encourage visitors from afar to come to Lowestoft for a hugely popular, unique cultural event. The brand new First Light Festival celebrates the town's history and status of being the first to see the sunrise on the most easterly beach in Britain. For me, away from you know, my council job, it was hugely affirming. It was hugely affirming. I've got children who I bring up in Lowestoft and I'm pleased to do so, I'm proud to do so, and they were proud. <laughs> 